Wonderful Sunjo tool called the telescopic pole chainsaw. So this is the newer version where you can add the telescoping handle or you can use it as a handheld shorter chainsaw if you want to. But either way, no gasoline required, super easy to use. You probably recently saw me uh, demoing a similar saw with Martha Stewart and uh, our Sunjo saws have been so popular. Call us if you have one. Sean Pickford is here. Sean, why don't you give us a demo and then I'll tell everybody what sure. they can choose from. Here we go. Easy peasy. Back so for all of easy. those uh, trees that have snapped off or that got broken parts or they're overgrown, I recently had a tree company out to my house. It was going to cost like $800 just to do one tree. Right. So this is something that's really going to save you a lot of money. Our choices here in colors are the traditional Sun Joe green. You can still get that one. We also have it for you in this uh, black. We have red. I'll wait for my cameraman. I'm sorry. Uh, there's the red. Then we also have the camo. And then down here on the table are two of our more limited choices. We have this leopard, which is only two dozen left to go around. I don't know if you can see that. I'll hold it up a little bit. There's the leopard. And then we also have it for you in this awesome purple. Now, uh, what this comes with is the chainsaw itself. As you can see right here, it does not have the extension pole connected, but you also get that pole. You get brackets to hang it up with and the hardware. You also get the barn chain oil, right? I believe that's you it. You also get the safety goggles and most importantly, you get an extended warranty that typically would only be two years here at QVC. You get three years. The price is six easy payments of 1249. That is a one day only price today, everybody. This is the day to get your ex uh, extension pole chainsaw if you've been looking at it because we will not have this low of a price for at least six months after it expires today. Excellent. It's not fast and easy. All you do is put it up against the log or limb, whatever you're cutting, and let gravity do the work. So no matter what angle you're at, thick, thin, anywhere up mm -hmm. to nine and a half inches mm -hmm. you can cut, you can telescope it out. Or, okay. or if you don't need it to be that tall, you can bring it back in or you can take the long handle totally off. If you don't right. want it to be on there at all, you can use it just as a handheld and get right down there and chop up some firewood or whatever you'd like to do. That's the great thing about it. You mm -hmm. have the best of both worlds with this one. So this is the, the extension pole here I'm taking off. Mm -hmm. This is the power end of it. Mm -hmm. So once you take the extension pole off, instead of having it in the pole saw mode, snap it now in. you snap it in. It locks into place. Right. So to take it apart, all you do is press one button. Notice here too where his hand is. Is. It's behind this yes, shield, the guard. and his fingers are nowhere near this blade. No. Uh, so it's so much, it's very lightweight, it's very yes. powerful. You don't have to deal with gasoline. You do want to put uh, some bar and chain oil in it right, to make sure to the you. chain stays lubricated. When you run out, you can get some more at any hardware store, but it couldn't be easier to use. No, and that's it. I mean, it couldn't be easier to use. We have some limbs that are down here, so in case you had some storm damage or something that blew right. down. And the great thing is, is Kellen really does use this. I she do. uses it around her home well, all the time. I have a lot I of trees on my it. property. I, right. have, I have a lot of mature trees, and they tend to, you know, they grow quickly. They get too close to the house. Right. Uh, maybe things die. Maybe there's a storm. Something breaks off. I got to clean it up. I can get out there and do it right away without having to call somebody for eight hundred dollars because you know when a right. storm comes through everybody's calling the tree service that's it. and you're on a wait list now to get yours done now you do it so on your own terms once again you just pop it sorry sean no. <laughs> get out of the way i didn't mean to, <laughs> to scare you so you want to make sure that um the edge right here that's of it. the saw if we'll you get just in push so it up against this, the limb is braced against the limb because if you don't it's going to be wibbly wobbly you don't right. want to yeah, cut it like that. this you want to cut it like this with it braced against the limb like so. So then there's the safety switch. You're going to hit that first, then hit your button. Yeah, Hold there on. you go. This button there. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Then there. Where, am I holding this upside down? No, you got it right. Just oh, here we go. Button All right. Here we go. There you go. Now watch. That fast. It's Carolyn can cut through there. It's super easy. She's not struggling with it. I can cut a thicker one, too, if I want to. It's not just the skinny branches. Now, look at that clean cut. You don't need to put any kind of tar or anything no. on that limb now. That's according to my professional arborist. 
when you've got a clean cut like that, there's no bugs or anything going to get in there. That's exactly it. So it makes it easier. So whether you're cutting up high or you're cutting down low. Yeah. So in this case, if I was in the handheld mode, I'd be down low. I could cut like this if I want, but it's easier for you to cut because you have it on the pole. I've got it on the, on the pole if I want so to. So it's easier so. because now Carolyn doesn't have to lean over where I would lean over. That's why we give you the pole. So now you cut okay. right through it there. Here, but if I do, you want to do some more? Sure, I'm, I'm having more. all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the great thing about this. Yeah, it's easy to do when you have the right tools. So we'll just go right down the row here. We'll cut one or two more, and you can see how fast it just goes right through from one to the next. Look how thick that one is. That's a big log. And you just right let the saw. Let the saw do the work. There's yeah. a little bit of weight to it. It weighs just about eight pounds, mm -hmm. but let gravity do the work. So that right. way, the weight of the saw holds it on there. Now, we did take it off. So if you want to cut some firewood and yep. you want to be at certain lengths, this one over here, if I want to cut to firewood, here, not a problem. You. So go right over here. This is a hardwood that we have. We have it in the saw horse, but no big deal. So again, all you do is hit this button here. These are your safety buttons. One here, one there. And then let the saw do the work. Just like a pro. In fact, right. I've actually had pros come over to my house with a saw. Yeah. And I'm like, what are you going to do with that? Right. So here's the before and after. That's my uh, backyard. And I know we've had video of Jill Bauer using this in her yard as well. She cleaned up her mom's yard, actually. Yeah. Uh, this is so easy to use. I've got, given this to my son-in-law. He uses his all the time. Now's the right time of year. I mean, yeah. we're headed into storm season. Cut the You're dead part off. The fall, get rid of that dead and disease stuff. And so. Let me tell you something. When you've got dead and disease branches on a, a plant or a tree, uh, it expends extra energy right. trying to maintain those dead things where it could be, you you know, actually causing the good parts to grow. Get rid of the dead part. It doesn't hurt the tree. The tree loves it, actually. Yeah, the great thing is, is you have everything you need. Just plug it into an extension cord. You're not pulling a handle to try and get it to start. Mm -hmm. You're adding the oil in here. We give you the oil that comes with it. This is a 10-inch Oregon bar and chain. It's the best of the best out there. Mm -hmm. You can cut a 9.5-inch log limb tree, whatever it is. If right. it's bigger than that, you make two cuts, one from each side. Exactly. It's that easy. And you don't need this. No, you don't need that. And you don't that. need one of these, which are dangerous. Put well, those away. Too much work in that hand And, and you, again, you're doing all the work. Dan Hughes, do you use this at your house? Absolutely. I know. It's so easy to use, isn't it? Yep. It's wonderful. Here, let's let Dan cut something because we're almost done. <laughs> we, everybody, well, I mean, everybody I have everybody chainsaws at home, but just trying to fire them up with oil. And, and gas mixtures, mm -hmm. you you wind up, I have to take my chainsaws in every spring to have them re, right. yeah. you know, yeah, tuned you up. Tuned up right. or sharpened or whatever. Can I go for the big one? Go you for it. You do whatever you All want. Right. Of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so again, press the safety button. Yep, and, there you go. Uh, it's you one, I did that doing. too, Dan, it's the one on the side. Push I on know. The side. There you go. Ready? And you let the saw do the work. That's it, Dan's just guiding in a place like a traditional chainsaw, because it is a real chainsaw. Watch, you see that. He's done. Ta-da! Look how easy. That's the great I thing have never felt so manly. Right. Anybody um, can use this. Let me show you the choices, guys, because we're out of time. It's leopard is last equipment. call. <laughs> My girls are buying the leopard saw. I love it. Uh, purple is limited as well, so here's your leopard. Grab it right now if you want that one. Then up here we have the camo, the red, the black, Lat, which is also limited in the black, and then the green. You're getting not only a two, but a three year warranty, safety goggles, your bar and chain oil. Yeah. Um, it's super simple. Use and it once, it pays for itself. You'll save so much money, and right. you can do this, ladies. I'm talking to the ladies. Yes, you can. You can do this too. So stay in the ordering process for our Sun Joe telescopic pole chainsaw. Thank you, Sean Pickford. Thank Always you. a Good pleasure. All right, here's Dan Hughes. That, that really is a great piece of equipment. I get the fun today. Carolyn's on her way to the next presentation, so I want to urge you to go on Carolyn's Facebook page, Carolyn Gracie QVC, and send us today, send us your Halloween photos of your pets. Nothing funnier than a cat and a dog that are dressed up. Here's Jezebel from Barbara, dressed up. How do you put a hat on a cat? Very carefully. Very carefully. Sandy, this is Emma Gray, all dressed up for Halloween. Look at that. You know, if you wear socks like that, a house will land on you. I think that happens. I saw that movie. <laughs> what a cute baby. And Ziggy Stardust loves her little 
It's a skull bow tie on a rabbit. By the way, you can't make a rabbit look like a killer, okay? You just can't, do, you can't make a rabbit look bad. Happy Halloween, this is from Lil Ewok Shots. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> That's just beautiful. By the way, the dog looks thrilled. <laughs> so keep, <laughs> that's my favorite one too. Our producer Frank goes, that's my favorite. So keep sending your, your Halloween pet photos to Carolyn Gracie QVC. And if you got a spare minute, you climb on my Facebook page, hit the like button. I'm desperate for friends. <laughs> I'd love to try to dress you up in that hat. You'd be scarier than the cat. Um, by the way, uh, we are live on my Facebook page today as well, so please enjoy all the fun pet photos.